Let's integrate discuss comments directly on our website. Hey everybody, Joe Workman here. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to implement discuss commenting directly on our Rapid Weaver websites. And we're gonna use the new comments to stack uh, that I recently released for Rapid Weaver. Now, this stack set implements both discuss and Facebook commenting systems. However, in this video, we're just gonna be reviewing how to get discuss comments directly on our site. And we're also gonna integrate those comments directly into our total CMS blog as well. So without further ado, let's jump in and see how easy it is. So here we are inside the comments to demo project that ships with the comments stack. And what we're gonna be looking at right now is implementing discuss comments on just a static web page um, inside RapidWeaver. Basically, this is gonna be used in a static web page environment where it could be a product page or a services page, basically any web page that you want your users to interact about that page or you know maybe it's a general conversation page that you have on your website that you want your visitors to use to interact with each other and with yourself. So here on this page, all I've done is I've added the discuss comment stack to the bottom of the page. Now by default, all you need to set up, okay, is your discuss short name. And by default, discuss will take care of the rest. It will associate the discuss comment thread with the URL that the page is currently on, okay? I do suggest, however, that you define an ID and maybe a specific title uh, for this thread. This way, if you wanted to maybe reference this commenting thread on a different web page, or you want to make sure it has a specific title, right? These are good things to set. You can also override the URL, okay, that this uh, comment thread is associated with. So if you want to associate the same comment thread on multiple pages, um, you might want to, you know, assign it to a particular URL so that you can use that thread on multiple pages. However, in most cases, uh, you're just gonna use the default URL and then assign the thread an ID and then a custom title. Now, the rest of your settings for the comment stack are actually done inside your Discuss account. So let's jump over there and have a look. So here I am inside my Discuss account online. And essentially, the one thing that we really needed was the Discuss short name. Now you will notice if you look at the URL to my discuss account, it actually has your short name in the URL. So here it's JW Sandbox. That was the short name for my particular discuss account. Okay. You can also, if you go to edit settings inside discuss, you'll see that short name. My website short name is JW Sandbox. Okay. And this is where you associate that with various URLs. You can give it a, a category and a, you know, default name and all that jazz. Okay. Now there's a lot of other things that we can set up here. You have appearance, okay, which is the color scheme. Do you wanna have it for light backgrounds or dark backgrounds? Do you wanna choose a specific typeface, okay? Um, so there are some customizations that you can do inside your Discuss account. Now later on, we're gonna be looking at implementing the Discuss count stack. And here you'll notice inside the community tab in your account is where you can set up the verbiage that you want to use when there's zero comments, one comment, and n number of comments um, on your particular page, right? Check through the rest. There's a lot of other settings here. Check through these to make sure that they're what you would want uh, for your setup. So implementing the discuss count stack is just as simple. Simply add the discuss count stack to your page and let's look at some of the settings that we have available. We have to use our discuss short name, which we just reviewed, okay? Next is gonna be the default label. This is gonna be the label that you see for a fraction of a second on page load until discuss actually replaces that with the verbiage that you configured in your account. That's the verbiage that we just saw a few minutes ago. Next, we need to define the page URL and potentially thread ID of the comment thread that you created using the discuss comments stack, okay? So in the example that we just saw earlier, um, this is going to be the thread ID of discuss comments. That is the thread ID that I chose for that thread. And then I need to put in that thread ID so that I can properly reference it and get the count number for it. 
Next after that, we can assign some style basically to the link, right? So do you wanna center align it? Do you wanna choose a font family, okay? Um, it integrates with both Foundation and Font Pro. Uh, so if you wanna customize the uh, font family used, as well as styles, we integrate with both Foundation and Font Pro, okay, for font styles, as well as custom styles, so you can, develop, you can design your own um, text color. Now, one thing to note, I have noticed with Discuss that um, the count takes a little bit longer to update. It's not instantaneous. So if you get new comments, it could take 10, 15 minutes for that count to actually be updated. So if you're playing around and you're adding new comments and then all of a sudden you're looking at the count and you're like, oh no, my count's wrong, right? Chances are it just give it a little bit of time. Uh, Discuss is probably indexing your thread and, and whatnot on the back end, right? I mean, it's processing millions of probably comments across the web. So it takes a little bit of time, right? So just if you see your comment count a little bit off, okay, it's okay, just give it some time, um, it will update, okay? That's another reason why I recommend that you use the thread ID so that you're exact and you're like, I know the thread ID, you know, for associating the comment count and everything is exactly this ID, right? So um, I think the thread ID is a great thing to use, um, especially if you're gonna be doing uh, comment counts. So now we're going to jump into implementing discuss comments inside total CMS blog. Okay. Again, we just reviewed on how to use the discuss comment stack inside the stacks library, right? So the two stacks that are in the library are the discuss comments and discuss count stack. Now you're not going to use those stacks that are in the library when you're working with total CMS. For that, we've developed actually custom child stacks that integrate directly into the blog. So let's jump into there and see exactly how all that works. So now we're back inside my comments demo file and we'll notice that we have a page here for discuss blog. Now this is gonna implement the total CMS blog list stack. Now I'm not gonna review how to implement the blog or the blog list, okay? I'm only gonna show you the discuss count stack because in the blog list, uh, you now have a new child stack called discuss count, okay? And this is the, gonna be the stack that you're gonna wanna add to your project, not the one from the stacks library, okay? So if you wanna add discuss counts to a particular blog list, you're gonna add the child discuss count stack. And if we look at the settings for that, you'll notice that it's slightly different, okay? It actually has less settings. All we need to do is set the short name and that's it. Some other alignment and font styles if you want, right? But we don't need to set a thread ID. We don't need to set a page URL. That's because the CMS takes care of all of that for us behind the scenes, okay? It associates and creates IDs for every single blog post for you automatically on the fly. So that's really great. All we need to do is add the discuss count stack to our page, add it inside of your blog list layout wherever you want, okay? And then it will just magically start working. Now what you might notice when you preview your page is that some blog posts have a comment number, right? So the proper comment count, here's two comments, zero comments, and so on and so forth. But if you notice, if we go further down, this last particular blog post doesn't have a number, right? It just says comments. The reason for this is no one actually has visited this particular blog post before. So Discuss has never actually loaded it. So in order to rectify that, all you need to do is visit that particular blog post online, let the Discuss blog post um, you know, comment stack uh, load, and then that will get, actually get registered in the Discuss system. Okay, and again, like I said earlier, sometimes the counts take a little while to get updated. So if you actually comment on a particular blog post, you might not see the comment counts update for you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, okay? So just be a little bit patient. Um, it is discussed working in the background and we have no control over that particular syncing algorithm that they use. Now implementing the comment thread inside your individual blog post page is just as easy as it was for the count right? On the blog post stack, we have a new child stack, just like we did in blog list. And if you click on the plus button, you'll notice that you now have discuss comments as the child stack. This is going to be the stack that you're going to want to use. You don't want to use the discuss comment stack from the stacks library. 
okay? This is a special optimized version for the CMS. Again, it's inside the child stack uh, when you click the plus button inside the blog post. And if you notice this, there are even less settings here than in the normal discuss comment stack. The only thing that we need to set is our discuss short name. The CMS takes care of the rest for us automatically because again, behind the scenes, it creates all the IDs for us that we need to create this discuss thread and associate that with the comments um, inside the blog list so we can get our counts. Now for the discuss comment thread inside total blog, you'll notice that it actually doesn't preview inside Rapidweaver, okay? But it will work once you publish your web page. And that wraps it up for discuss, right? You'll see that how easy it is to implement, right? There are some settings that you need to set on your discuss account natively online, right? So if you wanna customize the look and feel, some of those like comment count labels and a few other things like you know moderation, do you want it to do some spam filtering for you? And there are some other things that you can tweak in the settings, okay? But the one important setting that you need to get out is that discuss short name so that you can assign that inside your discuss comment stack. And you'll notice how easy it is to integrate with blog. Right, We've done all of the hard work behind the scenes in terms of associating threads to comment counts and all that jazz for you, okay? You don't need to worry about creating IDs. The CMS does all of that for you, okay? So it makes it really, really simple to integrate uh, discuss comments directly into your total CMS blog. And again, for static pages, this is great for product pages and ways with interacting with your customers directly on your website. Right? and having them you know, maybe share publicly on Twitter or Facebook directly from Discuss. Right? So it's a great way to interact with your customers and even promote other um, existing pages on your website inside the Discuss thread because it shows like related posts and all that jazz um, inside like your comment um, area. So that's really great. I hope you enjoy the Discuss comment stacks. Uh, they are powerful, they're easy to use, and I can't wait to see how you use them. So thanks very much, everybody. I hope you enjoy this, and I'll talk to you later. Happy weaving. Bye.